Hey guys, it's me, and yes, we are back in my boyfriend's apartment. It just seems that I keep on filming while I'm here for these reaction videos. Today we're going to be checking out some more entries for Eurovision 2022 today. And today we are going to be checking out the entries for France, Croatia, Malta, Estonia, and Israel. And I'm very much I'm looking forward to this. So far this year is looking to be a good year. I haven't found a whole lot of favorites so far this year, like I did last year, but last year was just an extremely strong year. And this year is looking to be like a more traditional Eurovision year. But I still have a lot of entries to check out though. As of right now, I still have 15 entries that I need to check out. So I'm still missing out on quite a few of the entries. And hopefully today I'm gonna be caught up with everything. And so, then I'll be able to just start like honing in on like the songs that I've picked out to be like some of my favorites and the ones that are really sticking out to me so far. I'm going to continue listening to them and then the week of the competition I'm going to do like I did last year and do like my top 10 favorite entries for the competition this year. Which I'm low-key I'm thinking about requesting the day off that the grand final is happening. So that way I can watch the grand final live because the U.S. has the rights to Eurovision again this year through Peacock. So I know I'm going to have to work the days of the semifinals, but I can just re-watch them like, when I get back from work um, or during time when I'm away from work that week. But I want to be able to watch the grand final live because that's when all the juicy drama is going to happen. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and dive on into this. Before we start doing that though, I need to do my disclaimers and that is for one, hi, hello, I'm an American from the southeastern US, so I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciations of people's names and songs, so just be prepared for that. Secondly, there is going to be jump cut editing involved with these reactions so that way I can avoid copyright laws for Eurovision songs a lot of the times if I were to include the entire song the video will get blocked in all countries but if I do jump cut editing it won't get blocked in all countries I'll still probably get like flags for copyright but it won't get blocked everywhere so that way you guys can actually see me react to these songs and have a good time that's also why I react to multiple entries per video is so that way the video isn't but like five minutes long and also that way I don't have to bombard you guys with like 40 or more than 40 Eurovision reaction videos. So this way you guys just get a couple of them and you get to get a little crash course as well into like the entries for Eurovision this year. Now that my disclaimers are done, it's time for my typical intro, which is if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also while you're down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below. And yeah, let's do this. All right, so the first entry that we are going to be checking out today is France's entry, which is Fulan by Alvin and I, Eyes. Not entirely sure how the name is pronounced. So, yeah. And this is coming from someone that took two years of French in high school. Okay, I'm vibing with this already. I did not expect Francis had a cold song. I am so here for this. I was just about to say, I wish that this bit had like more happening in the background and they brought that in with adding these vocals in. That was really good. I like that. Really different for Eurovision. I'm really curious about this one because I know last year people were raving about France's entry last year, which I mean, I'm not going to like their entry was really good last year because I'm like particularly hearing it live. That's where that song thrived is like hearing it live and 
it was a great song last year and everything hearing it live during the grand final still wasn't a favorite of mine but this though i'm vibing with this though i really like this one all right so next up we have croatia's entry which is guilty pleasure by mia didn't I, i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the last name but mia <laughs> Would you run away? One love is enough, that's all you ever get. At least that's what they tell you, still I can't forget. It's a cute little song. It's almost like me think of like the 2000s in a way. That was a cute little song. It wasn't really my speed per se but it was a cute little song though made me think of like the 2000s a little bit because i don't know it just had like just had that 2000s type of vibe to like the sound all right next up is malta's entry which is i am what i am by emma musket it looks like we get another ballad sounds like we get a soulful ballad and I'll get back up again. There's always that like soulful song each year, and I think this might be it. I mean, song definitely has some great power to it. I just tend to not like these types of like big, chanty type songs and soulful songs. They're just not really my thing. It's definitely not a bad song. I mean, it's a pretty good song. I could easily see this like making its way into the grand final and possibly even do a pretty good in the grand final as well depending on like whom all day you wind up going up against because this is like it radiates a lot of positive energy it's just that these types of songs just really aren't my cup of tea and whatnot it's not something that i'm gonna reach out for but i definitely can see this doing really well and then too it can probably be one of those songs where it's better live than it is in studio because i can easily see this one like i said like doing really well in the competition because of just like it having like such a big sound like this is going to be one of those songs that's going to get people like standing up and like having a good time and doing that sort of thing all right next up we have estonia which is hope by stefan do we have a country song? Look, I never expected to hear a Yeehaw Pop song at Eurovision. I'm curious what the stage I think this is gonna look like. That was definitely interesting. Like I said, I didn't expect to hear a Yeehaw Pop song for Eurovision at all. Like, at first I thought this was gonna be in, like, more, like, country and whatnot but then it just went on like that like i just say yeehaw pop and yeah that's the only way that i can describe it is yeehaw pop not really feeling that one either again just not my thing all right and the last one that we're going to be checking out today is israel's entry which is i am by michael ben david I'm not entirely sure how you'd say the name of the song, but we're just gonna roll with it. Keep your head I don't think I heard about this song. This is the gay anthem, I can already tell. Yup. God, this is so gay. I'm both up here for it, but also annoyed by how gay this is. I love that jacket though. If it was solid black, I'd love it more though. This song is very extra and very gay. And I am very much am here for it, but also slightly annoyed by it at the same time. Because of just how gay it is. Like, I remember, I want to say, was it Montenegro? Like, several years ago, back in 2017, who said the very very gay guy with an extremely long ponytail who was just swinging around in the air like it's giving me like that similar like 
level of gay. Also, I love the fashion in the video. Love the fashion a lot. But those are the entries for France, Croatia, Malta, Estonia, and Israel this year for your vision. What did you guys think about them? Let me know how you guys felt about these songs. For the most part, these songs were okay. The ones that I really, really got into were France and Israel's entries. Those were like my two favorites in this particular video because they just stood out the most to me and really like spoke to me and whatnot and the types of music that I'm really am into and whatnot and just like the vibes. But what did you guys think about them? Let me know in the comments below which ones did you enjoy the most? Which ones did you enjoy the least? I'd like to know what you guys are feeling about these songs and the entries this year. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's gonna be more Eurovision reaction videos coming up soon. Not sure when I'll be posting them next week. Well, as of when you guys are seeing this this week. Definitely gonna be multiple Eurovision videos this week, so be prepared for that because I'm trying to get caught up and that way I can have plenty of time to just jam out to these entries leading up to the semifinals and the grand final. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until I see you guys on my next one, whenever the hell that may be, goodbye.